Today's video is all about the feather. Feathers have often been associated with the spiritual realm. They represent freedom as beautifully demonstrated by a bird in flight. Feathers are also considered to be a symbol for spiritual growth. Some people believe that finding a feather symbolizes the presence of angels. It's seen as a form of communication from the spiritual realm. Hence the expression, feathers appear when angels are near. According to worldbirds.org, feathers play ceremonial importance in numerous cultures. Primarily, they are used for healing because of the talismanic powers they have due to the spiritual beings they are associated with. Many lessons can be learned from a feather. For example, the quill demonstrates the power of the pen. According to the old timey, quill pens were one of the main writing tools during the Middle Ages through to the end of the 19th century. The phrase, the pen is mightier than the sword, implies that writing was said to be more effective than violence and the quill effectively demonstrates the power of the pen through written communication. Peacock feathers teach us the importance of self-expression. Self-expression gives life to our thoughts and emotions, which in turn helps us to connect with our authentic self, and as a result, increases our mental well-being. Feathers teach us the importance of feeling light as a feather. Feeling light as a feather means not allowing the challenges of life to weigh us down. It means embracing that carefree feeling and not to take life so seriously. Feathers come in a variety of colors, and some people believe that the different colors represent different messages. For example, finding a black feather represents a message to let go of anything that drains our energy as it relates to people or activities. An orange feather represents creativity. It's time to get creative. Implementing a new idea will bring success and happiness and a purple feather represents spiritual growth. The truth is, the color of a feather can mean different things to different people. Just like number synchronicities, their meaning is often related to whatever is happening in our life at the time we see it. For example, finding a white feather after a loved one has just transitioned can represent communication from our loved one to let us know they're okay and are still with us. If we're going through a challenging time, finding a white feather can represent encouragement from spirit to keep going, even when times are tough. Finding a white feather can also represent a message of peace and love from the spiritual realm. I've always believed that a feather is one of the ways in which spirit communicates with us. I believe spirit uses feathers to help us to interact with the spiritual realm. Feathers have always played an important role in my spiritual journey. And after my awakening, the presence of feathers became even more frequent. Only this time, I saw feathers I can hold and feathers I can't. There were times when a feather would completely startle me by appearing right in front of me and then slowly disappear 
as it floated away. I've since become used to their presence to the point where there is nothing a feather can do to surprise me. In other words, feathers have taught me that anything is possible. At the end of the day, what we choose to believe creates our experience. And when it comes to feathers, it's up to us to decide its meaning, if anything at all. And based on my experience, I believe that a feather is one of the ways in which spirit reminds us that we are all spiritual beings and anything is possible, including feathers that appear out of nowhere. I have a couple of quotes I'd like to share with you. These quotes are by Deepak Chopra. The first one is this, our essential nature is one of pure potentiality. So true. The second one, awakening is not changing who you are, but discarding who you are not. today. Thanks so much for joining me. And if you have any questions or you'd simply like to connect, feel free to do so through my personal email. I've listed it in the description below. Until we meet again, be safe and make sure to keep paying attention to your karma. It's our greatest teacher.